See, I knew you'd be back because you've got nothing better to do. Now you come over here and do something for your akhirah instead. Click the link below and establish the house of Allah. Get yourself a house in paradise with a superb high level sadaqatun jaliyah for yourself that will continue. Inshallah. Click the link below. Let Let's come back. Uh, let me, let me ask you one specific question which he raised, which I don't think actually is your belief. I don't think you have defended what Hamas did on October the 7th. Yeah, I haven't. I think you share our view. Unless evil? I'm wrong. We've are spoken they evil? about this. Are they evil? Stop speaking. Are they is it evil? me or him? I'm are speaking they to evil? Stop Rabbi Shmuley, you're now evil. doing Stop what speaking. you accuse him of doing. Stop so speaking. Let me ask you what is your view of Hamas post October 7th? I think that they, just like anybody else, have to be examined, have to, have, have to look at all yeah, the... What's your the opinion about them? Yeah, I think that... If, look, here's my opinion. Let me be straightforward about this, right? Anybody who kills civilians, anybody, whether it's the IDF, I'm consistent in this manner. If, if, if it's proven with un, beyond reasonable doubt that these people have killed civilians in both of our faith traditions, in Islam and Judaism, in the Quran is mentioned, in the Prophet, he said it himself, you cannot kill a woman, you cannot kill a child. I condemn them. I condemn them. That's what I do. Straight away, whether he's Muslim, whether he's non-Muslim, whether he's Christian or anybody else. I've already said that. So I'm not being inconsistent here. My question is, if that is exactly the barometer that we're using, if that's the moral reasoning that we're using, then we have to say, look, if you have a 100 to 1 ratio, and that's what it is, a 100 okay. to 1 ratio. And you know how I got this figure? I got this figure from the IDF themselves because they have reported okay, to them. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Does Hamas deserve to stay in power after what they did? I don't think we should have Hamas in power. What I think we should... Okay. No, let me so, tell you... So, so how we, should, do, we, how should have, get, we should have... How do you Palestine, get rid of them? We should have a Palestinian authority with bigger armies okay. and airports, okay. with proper tanks and with uh, 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 airplanes like every country in you the world. You know what? You might be right. But Absolutely. They how, won't allow it. How do you get the Israelis rid of, won't allow it. How do you get rid of Hamas? What you don't do, I can tell you for a fact, is try and kill 30,000 of them with a 100 to 1 ratio. Because if you do that, then you're committing genocide because you'd have to kill 3 million Palestinians. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that whoever builds a mosque for Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. And we know the great reward that will not only be gained, but rather will fill your grave after your death. Whenever someone prays there, whenever someone gives shahada, in the masjid, whenever someone learns something in the masjid, yes, that will be something that you'll have on your scale.